it is monday morning like everyone else in the world my mondays start off a mess you know i'm dressed in my most comfortable clothes just put my bagel in the toaster and i'm gonna get me some coffee and then yeah we're gonna talk about what i'm gonna do today and yeah i hope you're in for a crazy week i promise i won't look like this the whole week but yeah okay first things first this is not exclusive to mondays but i check my email to see if anyone's emailed me or if i need to like follow up on something from the previous day or week so that's what i'm doing now okay and then i check my calendar um if you know me you know i am very big on the whole like to-do list thing so i go and look and then i was just saying a whole bunch of crap right here but it's my best friend's birthday and if you see like all the check marks, basically I did a lot of things last Friday that it was supposed to be for this Monday because I just really didn't have anything going on with my life. So yeah, I really don't have anything to do. I just have to send some like information for a fellowship to one of like my committee members so they can write me a recommendation. And then I think I just have to edit some stuff. So yeah. Okay. And then I actually did some work and then I finished up like all the edits that I had to do and then I had a snack a rice crispy treat you'll see throughout this whole video that I ate them every day yes I did um but we're just not going to talk about that and then I forgot to put this like on my to-do list but I actually had to do lesson plans for the classes that I teach on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so this is kind of like what I'm doing now then I decided to sit down and have some Chipotle and watch Gilmore Girls. If you've never watched Gilmore Girls, first of all, it's not Golden Girls. And I swear it's a good show. This is me planning um, tomorrow. So like setting up my life and like deciding what I need to do tomorrow based off of like today, the emails and the edits that I made. Okay, and then I kind of moved on to like the business side of my life, the forever student stuff. So then I made this cool graphic so that I could post tomorrow on my Instagram story or the Forever Student Instagram story. And then I decided I was going to organize some inventory for Forever Student, so I'm putting it in buckets. And then I started um, creating a new sweatshirt like and like t-shirt design, so I had to like dye some fabric. Okay, and then I finished out my night by running a little bit at the gym. And then, um, I'm not even gonna flex. My mom made this dinner. I didn't make this dinner. I ate some dinner, and then I was trying to watch a movie on Netflix, but then my remote just conveniently stopped working. Okay, so, so yeah, that's how I ended up my night. So yeah, here we go to Tuesday. I make my breakfast and then eat it in the car because I just want to get as much sleep as possible. And also, I literally turn on my GPS every day. Like, I don't leave it on, but every time I go to campus, I turn it on. Because at least, like, one time during the week, it'll tell me to take a different route because there's, like, an accident or traffic or something. So, yeah, not saying it's every, like, standstill, but it can make, like, a 10 to 15 minute difference um, on my commute, depending on, like, which way I take and, like, what the traffic looks like so yeah i'm headed to school right now today's a teaching day today's an early class so i'm not even going to like the library before i start teaching um sometimes i get there like extra early and do that but today i'm not because i'm running like a little late probably because i'm making this video but yeah i'll see you guys when i get to my classroom okay i'm in the parking garage now literally this is M deck. Honestly, if you're gonna be on campus more than two times a week, you should get the pass. Like it's worth it. If you're gonna be on less, just get like a budget pass or like a budget card, and then you can just pay like per park, I guess. But yeah, if you're gonna be on campus more than two times a week, get it. It's like two hundred and five dollars, I think, for M deck. Um, but it's worth it. Also you can park for free at like the stadium parking and then there's like a shuttle bus to get over to campus but if you um 
Yeah, I just like honestly, I don't really know much about the shuttle bus, but I do know that like they come when they come. Like, not saying they take forever to come, but I don't ever want to be like running late and then be waiting on a shuttle bus that makes like multiple stops to get to like where I need to go. So I just don't want to like rely on that. So that's why I have MDEC. But if you plan on coming to campus early, like if you have like 4.30 classes and you can get here at like two, then just park in the stadium parking and then um, just take the shuttle bus over. So that's free. But yeah, if you have to like teach in the morning times like me and you don't want to like be later or whatever and don't want to rely on that, MDEC honestly is the best. I come here twice a week. I used to come here like three or four times a week, so it was like definitely worth it. Twice a week, it's like on the verge, like it's kind of the same whether you budget or M deck parking. But yeah, that's that's the advice. Okay, let me find parking because I came at like one of those times where literally like everyone's here. So I have to actually like go up a few floors to go to parking. But yeah. Okay, so I just finished class and now I'm about to walk um, to the library and like get some work done and yeah, then I'm gonna try to like go back home before like after work traffic starts. So I'm gonna work for like two, three -ish hours and then go back home, but I don't have that much to do today. It's just a lot of editing for like the fellowship and stuff and Honestly, that's it. And usually like after class, I set up like an announcement to send out to my students for like what the homework is, what we did in class today in case someone wasn't here, and like when the final project's due and that kind of stuff. But I actually did that while they were working on their project in class today, so that's already done. But yeah, I'm about to head to the library. <laughs> Okay, so then here's my setup in the library, you know, another Rice Krispie. We're not going to talk about that, but then I finished up around like 2 o'clock and headed home so I could like avoid some traffic. Um, went back to the parking garage and then once I got home, I switched from like my book bag to my forever student tote bag and then went and ran some errands and then the night kind of just went like last night. I ate some dinner, and then got in bed, watched some Netflix. So, yep, here's Wednesday. Okay, and then I actually do this every morning, but I fed my tortoise Penny, and then I made some breakfast for myself because on Wednesdays I have, like, a later class, so I can, like, lollygag in the morning. Okay, so... Wednesday the day of all of my meetings I literally have like four meetings today one of which starts in less than 15 minutes and I'm still on the way although all of them are virtual since COVID all of these meetings before COVID would have been in person but now they're all virtual still so we're good I'm charging my headphones as I drive so we're good but yeah, I teach at 2 today. I have a meeting at 10.45, one at 12, teach at 2, and then a meeting at 4. So that's the day. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to work on like business stuff. So yeah, we have like a fully packed day today. I will say that I intentionally try to plan meetings on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Really because Mondays, I just like to ease back into the week, so I don't aim for Mondays usually unless it's like the only day the other person can do. Um, and then like I have labs on Friday, so sometimes I'm meeting on Friday, but I mean, well, I have lab on Thursday, so sometimes I'll have meetings like before lab on Thursday since, since I'm already going to be like doing stuff. But I very rarely try to have meetings on Friday. Essentially, like, Tuesday, Wednesday is the best day because always, inevitably, after meetings, there's something to do. Like, after the meeting, you have to, like, edit something or you have to, like, send more emails or you have to 
do something. Like there's always like an action task that comes out of the meeting. So I don't like to have the meeting like too late in the week because then that means I have to do it on Friday before like the weekend. And if it's too early in the week, it's just like a lot to do that adds to my to-do list over the week. So Tuesday, Wednesdays. No one could do Tuesdays this week. I don't know. So that's why we're stuck with all this stuff happening on Wednesday. But yeah. Uh, okay, so meetings, the first meeting at 10.45, and it is currently 10.32, um, is the LSGSA meeting, the Graduate Student Associated meeting. I'm the president of that. So actually yesterday, I don't know if I recorded it, I had to create the agenda for this meeting. So yeah, I have to leave that. So that requires like full 100% attention. I'm probably going to take the meeting in my car because I don't know if I can like park and make it to the library before 1045 so and then after that there's like a town hall for our department at 12 that requires nothing from me I literally just need to show up since I am the president of the organization for our department so yeah I'm just showing my face essentially so during that meeting I'm probably gonna be doing other work and I'm just gonna be listening to that meeting and then yeah teaching at 2 and then yeah i'm actually gonna draw usually after i teach on wednesdays i go back to the library and like get a lot of work done because wednesdays are kind of like the day that i'm like okay i have all this stuff from the beginning of the week like did you complete it and try to complete as much work as possible before the end of the week comes because i really do try to like not do work on the weekends like i really try to relax um yeah so I'm actually not going to the library today though because my meeting at four with my advisor talk about my dissertation prospectus, the latest draft. Um, and so I want to be able to like be at home for that because if I stay on campus, that means I'll be here at like six, six thirty ish after that meeting and I don't really want to drive home during like evening rush hours, so the plan is to not do that and just drive home straight after class and then have that meeting at home. But yeah, the meeting is like based off of my last draft on my prospectus and I only got like two comments back and then sent it back and fixed it. And so this is like the meeting about that thing. And I'm hoping that that was the last draft because it was like only two comments and they were pretty easy. And there's like one thing that she said that I didn't really understand, but it it's literally like a two minute conversation. So I think I think this is the last draft and then I just have to do like um, a power analysis to figure out how many participants I need. And then I think that after that it's just like logistics and stuff, like sending it out to the department so they can like make the announcement and sending it to my committee and building my committee. Um, and I have all the people in mind. So they can read it. They need like two weeks to read it and there's only three weeks left in the semester. I was really hoping to like get this done for the end of the semester. I don't know if it's possible because, you know, people drag their feet at the end of the semester, but at least I'll be done with all of my part by the end of this semester. And then maybe things will move really fast as soon as school starts back up. I don't know. But yeah, that's the plan for today. So lots of meetings, lots of school stuff. And then I'm gonna end it with like um, business stuff that requires me like making designs on like those shirts that I dyed. And um, I have to make TikToks for all of that. So yeah, come along the journey. The rest is probably be voiceover, I don't know. but. The rest of this day but yeah I'm rushing to get parked so I can do this meeting I just finished my meeting so I'm gonna go to the library now I'm gonna insert a TikTok probably of my outfit of the day now so yeah and I'll check back in with you guys probably on my way back home um, because literally this class today is the exact same class as yesterday. I just have two sections for it. So yeah, same thing.
Okay, just got off of a call with my advisor about my perspectives. The red is not bad. Those are things I added since the last draft, but it, it was good. Progress. Lots of notes of things I need to edit. And I feel like, I mean, this works for me, but I feel like uh, every time you like have a meeting with anyone after the meeting you should send like a follow-up email about like what happened to the meeting um or like if you guys came up with any like dates and things like that then just like put it in an email and like put it out there so that everyone can have something to like look back to about like what happened because I don't know, I feel like a lot of time passes or just like a lot of things happen in my brain in between times that I talk to my advisor that we both like kind of forget. So like having that email to like go back to um, really helps. Also, we have like this document that we're working on or that I'm working on and she's like commenting on. So that's also helpful. Every time she sends it back, I like save it as a new document so that I have like all of the like different documents of every time it's changed like drastically. So literally like this is her fourth response. So when I am start working on her comments from this draft, I'm going to save it as draft five. And so just like essentially like I started this process because I felt like um, sometimes you like change things and then you need to change it back or like someone asks you a question about like why you did this and it's like helpful to know like where it started as and then how you changed it and you know sometimes you like take out citations for like conciseness like you take out sentences that are attached to citations for conciseness but it's conciseness for it to be concise um and then you later realize that you actually needed that citation or like it'll be helpful somewhere else. So then it's easy to like go back and find it. I don't know. It's just really helpful to have multiple documents. Um, and then after we talked about my perspectives, we talked about like the timeline for that. We also have like a conversation about timelines every time we have a meeting. So like we talked about how I'm going to get this new draft to her by like the end of next week. Also, this is not every advisor, but I kind of make my own deadlines for myself just because it like pushes me and helps me. So she didn't say like, get this to me by next week. I said, I'll, I'll get it to you by next week so that I can like really be focused on it. But also I just want this to move along. <laughs> and yeah, we kind of figured out like with all of the like logistics that you have to go through with um, the department and getting things signed from like a lot of different people that I won't be able to like defend this perspectives until the beginning of next semester but that we can set a date um probably like by the time when I turn in the next draft and like alert all the committee members well obviously they'll be alerted because we have to talk to them to like set the date and like find a date that works for everyone but yeah so next steps is that well to edit the perspectives to um talk to my committee members about the date and then i don't even know if i've ever said this in a video but also like okay there's like course requirements or whatever for your degree and there's like mandatory classes that you like have to take but there's this one class that i've literally been trying to take for like two years and they only offer it like every so often. And the last time they offered it, I offered it. I was literally in the middle of comps and I was already taking two other classes so that I actually needed to take that would help me with comps. So I didn't take it. And then now they're not offering it until over a year from now, literally over a year from now. And it's the one class stopping me from like advancing to candidacy, like after I defend this perspectives and so now I have to like talk to my committee members and ask them if I can do like something else in lieu of that requirement which the person who's like over that requirement said is okay if all of my committee members say it's okay and it's kind of a little bit of work not a little bit it's kind it's a lot I have to make like a por teaching portfolio and I have to do some like readings and have like discussions with people but I asked if I can do it this summer so 
I'll be like more free in the summer and I think um other than working on like my dissertation and hopefully I'll be analyzing data um I can just do that during the summer and then advance to candidacy before next school year and I'm get it's gonna be weird because I think I'm gonna advance to candidacy like literally right before I finish my dissertation so I'm gonna be a candidate for like all of five seconds but I mean the labels really don't matter to me I'm just trying to you know get up on out of here so yeah that that's the update um we created timelines we talked about next steps far like th through the immediate next steps and like general next steps like through the academic year which is something I advise you to do like every meeting every time you talk to your advisor um I mean I have an advisor where like if I asked to have a meeting um it happens but she we don't have like weekly set meetings or anything like that because I'm pretty self-sufficient and I set deadlines for myself and like get it done so she's not really like worried about me and I'm like a year ahead of schedule so yeah she's not worried about me at all so I kind of just ask her to have meetings when I'm ready to have meetings and as I've been doing my perspectives we've had meetings um about my drafts but they're pretty like short this one was long because we talked about like a lot of things but like the last one was like 30 minutes so just so like nothing gets lost in translation or if like she's trying to explain something to me so she's not doing it through email so those are like really quick meetings but yeah we don't have like weekly meetings or anything so every time we talk we make sure we have like a timeline for our like next steps and yeah as we're coming down to the end of the road for this prospectus um yeah we had a big timeline talk um but yeah honestly I feel like it might be overwhelming for some people but for me like timelines and schedules like I've been following along you know, I have like hella to-do list, a planner that's like very detailed and a calendar on my wall. So timelines and deadlines help me actually. They like reduce my anxiety and they help me like stay focused. I'm not really like a procrastinator, but um, I like to work towards things, I guess. Um, I feel like that's the first time I realized that about myself, but I like to work towards things so it's really hard for me like for instance like reading casually like when I pick up a book I actually like it but when there's no like thing I'm reading for this sounds bad but like if there's nothing I'm like reading for or like if I'm not gonna have like a discussion with anyone about it I don't consistently read it because I don't, I'm not working to finish it by like a certain time or no one's expecting me to like finish it by a certain time, so I don't. Which is why I'm still reading the same book that I started at the beginning of this semester. And I actually don't even know where it is at this point. I read it consistently for like a week and then on vacation one time. I don't know. I'm going to finish it maybe during winter break. But yeah, anyways, timelines and deadlines and all that stuff work for me. But also, like, don't let your advisor pressure you if it's, like, not necessary. Like, if they're like, oh, can you get this back to me in a week? And it's not, and it's just for, like, no reason. Like, they just threw out a time period. If that doesn't work for you, like, make sure you speak up and, like, say, like, oh, I actually have, like, to write two papers for class this week. So maybe I can get it to you by next week. And, you know, just don't be bullied. But but I'm the one that bullies myself. So it's okay. Um, and yeah, it is, the meeting was at four, it is now 518, um, so I'm going to like put, um, I'm gonna like categorize the edits that I need to make and like make comments in the document, so just to be like more organized, and also I'm going to plan out the rest of this week and next week about how I'm going to accomplish all of these edits by the end of next week right now because it's just gonna make me feel better and what else do I need to do oh I also in the meeting we talked about how I need to send some emails out to people so I'm 
probably going to draft those emails out um, today, uh, like after I figure out my planner situation, and then uh, plan to send them out in the morning just so I like don't forget about them and just so they're like off the to-do list. And then I'm going to call it a day. I'm gonna um, make some dinner. I actually didn't have lunch today. My coffee to food ratio today was very off. Maybe you can tell my face is literally red. Like this is coffee fumes. So yeah, I'm gonna make some dinner and just chill for the night. I might eat some cookies. But yeah, I don't work out or I used to work out four times a week, but um, life happened and now I work out like twice or like three times a week, but I still feel like good about it because I'm not like out of shape or anything. So I feel like I was just going like really hardcore and I'm actually don't really care about muscles either. So I feel like it's fine that I only do it like twice or three times a week, but I don't work out on days that I go to campus because that commuting and like teaching and also doing work on top of that, like in the library, that's just a lot. So I like to like chill and relax on the nights that I teach. So yeah, I'm not working out tonight. Um, I will work out tomorrow. So yeah, I'll probably just see you all tomorrow. Um, back in, maybe I'll, I'll be wearing some gym clothes. Uh, and yeah, and then we'll talk about the rundown for how my Thursdays go, so. Okay, it is Thursday. I feel like you guys can tell by my outfits when I'm going to campus and when I'm not going to campus, Converse. But yeah, today I don't have to teach, so I'm not going to campus. Honestly, like, I can speak for Georgia State specifically, but grad school students in general, like, don't live like downtown or like in the epicenter of the university like did that make sense anyways we don't live downtown in Atlanta because it just doesn't make like sense financially to do so so I don't live in Atlanta so when I don't have to teach or be on campus for some reason I don't and then also you have to like pay to be on campus like pay to park so yeah, I just don't do that. But I feel like one of the best things that happened to me is me remembering like when the pandemic first started that like local or like public libraries existed. So yeah, that's kind of what I do on Thursdays. I like pretend like I'm going to campus, you know, get all my stuff, my snacks and stuff. And then I go to my local library, which is literally like um, two minutes from my house and it's like a way to like not have any distractions not be like watching tv and just like actually get stuff done and then i can just come home in two minutes so i'm gonna do like some work there i have a lab at five i'm not staying there till five and i think the library closes at five but i'm gonna go there for like a few hours get some work done and then come back to take like a break before lab yeah that's the game plan and then I think like after oh after lab I have to go to the gym and then after the gym I have to do like forever student business stuff so yeah you'll you'll come along on the journey but right now I'm just doing my normal like bagel coffee and I'm gonna like head out the door okay so it's veterans day and the library is closed so yeah I'm just going back home to like hopefully accomplish work while I inevitably watch tv but yeah, I'm getting gas right now, so. Okay, I'm in my car. Um, yeah, okay, I had a lab. That went well, like it actually ended 30 minutes early because we just got everything we we're supposed to do, like really got everything we were supposed to do done really fast, so that went well. And then I actually, although I watched TV all day while doing it, the key is to watch a show you've seen a million times. So I was watching Gilmore Girls, but I think I finished all the edits that I said I would have done by the end of next week today. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up and like just do like a brief like run through to make sure I didn't like miss anything or put like any typos or anything. Um, 
But yeah, so I think I'm sending it back tomorrow, which is really good. I sent out all the emails I was supposed to send out. And now I'm headed to the gym. I really only wanted to like a 30-ish minute workout and then I'm gonna get a smoothie from Planet Smoothie because on Thursdays they're only $5. It's like the Smoothie King $5 thing, but I think my favorite smoothie is actually from Planet Smoothie and not Smoothie King anymore. So I've been mi I've missed it for like the past three weeks or so. So I'm gonna try to make it there before they close. And that's the end of the night. No, okay. And then when I get back, I have to like do stuff for the Forever Student Business. So one of those includes making a TikTok and then potentially I'm going to work on like a new shirt design. And that is the end of the night. Okay, I'm back from the gym. Got my smoothie. It's called a strawberry colada. It has two of my favorite things, strawberry and coconut. Well, two of my favorite fruit. Although fruits are pretty high up there on the list of my favorite things. So two of my favorite things. Um... I honestly haven't tried that many things on their menu, but I really like this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to honestly just chill for like 30 minutes and then like move over to like the business side of my life. Okay, happy Friday. Okay, um... Hey, happy Friday. It's finally Friday. Like I've said before in this video, Friday is literally like my chill day. Like I really try to squeeze everything in Monday through Thursday so that I don't have to do a lot on Friday. I usually schedule like my appointments on Friday. So today I have wax appointment, nail appointment, and then I'm going to go find a birthday gift for my best friend. I'm finally going to see her this weekend. Her birthday was Monday. I already know what gift I'm getting, but I have to drive to go get it. It's like an hour away it's an hour away from my house but it's like 30 minutes away from my nail appointment so I, I think we're good um out for the day forever student tote bag um vest from H&M this is a sweatshirt I don't know where I got it from <laughs> uh sweatpants and then easy slides so yeah very chill we dress chill we act chill you know get our mental health together but Honestly, this is really how my Fridays look most days. Um, last Friday, I actually did like a lot of work, but it was still like the chiller side of work. Like I was like putting in references and like editing charts. Like it wasn't like really like mental work that I had to do. So typically how my Fridays go. So yeah, very chill things. I am, yeah, gonna close out the video here because there is nothing else going on this week really um so yeah thank you all so much if you watch this whole thing if you want more videos like this if you want more like on campus type of stuff like showing you guys um my workspace on campus um i don't know just a lot the resources on campus like in the library if i like use any of those like if you want more detailed like on campus stuff let me know i can create a video on that but yeah make sure you like comment subscribe do all the things that you're supposed to do and I'll see you guys some um, Sunday soon. Thanks, bye.